that time of the year again. Venture Crew is hosting a lock-in Friday night from 8 o'clock to 6 o'clock. All current members are $10 and guests of a member are $15. We will be swimming from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, then organizing and learning some survival skills. The auxiliary gym will be open all night for basketball and dodgeball. We will have a fourth meal at 11 o'clock with pizza and snacks. If you are planning to attend, you must fill out a permission form, which can be found outside Mr. Nelson's room 606. I'm here with Jada, who's a freshman, and TSU would like to know, do you know what ACT score you need to get into your dream school? Yes, my dream school is Michigan State, and I need the 23 through a 28 to get in. I'm here with Shamir, who is also a freshman, and TSU would like to know, are you worried about getting a bad ACT score? No, I'm not worried because I'm going to use the ACT prep online. I'm here with Matthew, who is a freshman. TSU would like to know, what do you expect to see on the ACT? Um, I expect to see a lot of new vocabulary on the English section and a lot of more hard in mathematics. I'm here with Brandon, who's a sophomore. THT would like to know what do you expect to see on the ACT? Uh, probably more advanced science questions and math questions like that and English. I'm here with Kumar and he's a sophomore. THT would like to know, what's your dream school and what ACT score do you need to get in it? My dream school is UCLA and the ACT to get in is 29. I'm here with Dion, who's a junior. THT would like to know, what is your dream college and what ACT score do you need to get in it? My dream college is Cincinnati University and I need a 21 on the ACT. I'm here with Taylor, who is also a junior. THTV would like to know, what do you expect to see on the ACT? Um, science, like long essays that you got to write, and reading, paragraphs. I'm here with Andre, who is a junior. THTV would like to know, are you worried about getting a bad ACT score? No, because I use all my ACT prep. <laughs> full-scale robot that can shoot a basketball, kick a soccer ball, or dodge a dodgeball? Thurston High School and Daimler Mercedes Heavy Truck are teaming up to start a first robotics team. We are registered to have engineers and teachers willing to get this off the ground. Now we just need you. Come to our first meeting this Thursday immediately after school in room 606. Don't know what first robotics is? Check out past robotics competitions on YouTube. We need at least 12 young men and women of all abilities. See you Thursday. Attention GSA members, there is a meeting in Miss Hero's room during Flex on Thursday, December 4th. Attention JV and varsity cheerleaders, there is a mandatory meeting in Miss Hero's room after school at 245 on Thursday, December 4th. You must bring any outstanding payments for shoes and palms. You will also be returning your laundered cheer uniforms at this meeting. Miss Marlowe and Mr. Madigan will be holding an after school prom meeting this week, Thursday at 245 in room 500. This discussion will be based around the prom theme, as well as future fundraisers. On Thursday, December 4th, a representative from Oakland University will be in the counseling office during FLEX. Pick up your FLEX pass prior to the informational meeting. I was 13 when I first got access to uh, a computer. My parents bought me a, uh, a Macintosh in 1984 when I was eight years old. I was in sixth grade. I learned to code in college. Freshman year, first semester, um, intro to computer science. I wrote a program to play tic-tac-toe. I think it was pretty humble beginnings. I think the first program I wrote asked uh, things like, what's your favorite color? Or how old are you? I first learned how to make a green circle and a 
Red Square appear on the screen. The first time I actually had something come up and say, hello world, and it, the, I made a computer do that, it was just astonishing. Learning how to program didn't start off as wanting to learn all of computer science or, um, or trying to master this discipline or anything like that. It just started off because I wanted to do this one simple thing. I wanted to make something that was fun for myself and, and my sisters. And I wrote this little program and then basically just add a little bit to it. And then when I needed to learn something new, I looked it up either in a book or on the internet and then added a little bit to it. It's really not unlike kind of playing an instrument or something or, 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 you know, or playing a sport. It starts out being very intimidating, but you kind of get the hang of it over time. Coding is something that can be learned, and um, I know it can be intimidating. A lot of things are intimidating, but, uh, you know, what isn't? A lot of the coding that people do is actually fairly simple. Um, it's, it's more about the process of breaking down problems than, uh, you know, sort of coming up with complicated algorithms as people traditionally think about it. You don't have to be a genius to know how to code. You need to be determined. Addition, subtraction, uh, that, that's about it. You should probably know your multiplication tables. <laughs> you don't have to be a genius to code. Do you have to be a genius to read? Even if you want to become a race car driver or play baseball um, or, uh, you know, build a house, all of these things have been turned upside down by software. What it is is, you know, computers are, are everywhere. You want to work in agriculture? <laughs> Do you want to work in entertainment? Do you want to work in manufacturing? You know, it's, it's just all over. Here we are, 2013. We all depend on technology to communicate, to bank, information, and none of us know how to read and write code. When I was in school, I was in this after school group called the Whiz Kids. And when people found out, they laughed at me and you know, all these things. And I'm like, man, I don't care. I think it's cool. And you know, I'm learning a lot. And some of my friends have jobs. One had told me that software is really about humanity, that it's really about helping people by using computer technology. It would have changed my outlook a lot earlier. To be able to actually come up with an idea and then see it in your hands and then be able to press a button and have it be in millions of people's hands. Uh, I mean, I think we're the first generation in the world that's really ever had that kind of experience. Just to think that I mean, you can start something in you know, your college dorm room and you can have a set of people who haven't built a big company before come together and build something that a billion people use as part of their, their daily lives is, is just crazy to think about, right? It's really, it's humbling and it's amazing. The programmers of tomorrow are the wizards of the future. You know, you're gonna look like you have magic powers compared to everybody else. I think it's amazing. It's, I think it's the closest thing we have to a superpower. Great coders are today's rock stars. That's it. by an NHS tutor. Also, the NHS bakes that will be held on Wednesday during a lunch. Today, girls basketball is away at SL4 High School. JV plays at 5.30 and varsity plays at 7.00. Today there is a high of 36 and a low of 25. CHTV would like to wish a happy birthday to Kayla H. Goodbye. Goodbye. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.